yeah, they probably won't come up straight away, mate. I think, um, you know, I, I think we're really appreciative of the opportunity that, um, you know, the availability that they, they can come up and, um, you know, guys have the, the option, which I think is really important and, and really good um, from the AFL to allow us to do that. But um, at the moment, we'll, we'll get up there and um, from my personal situation, see how many weeks we can go without it. Obviously, the quarantine on the way back, um, with uh, with my wife got a few things going on, so that could uh, throw a bit of a spanner in the works. But yeah, you know, the opportunity is there if if we feel the need to, um, you know, get back together and get the little fella up the Goldie. Um, yeah, you know, I think having the opportunity available uh, for all of us is is the most important thing. Yeah, you know, as I touched on before, and um, I'm sure a lot of guys across the, the competition are the same who are going to be going into hubs. Um, so long as the opportunity is there, that if we feel we need to get back together with the family. Um, that opportunity is available. Um, but I'm looking forward to getting up there. You know, we, we can't do much about um, the hub situation. We need, we need to do it to get a season up and going again. And um, I think that's the most exciting aspect for all of us that we get to play some footy again. Yeah, I think clubs all across the competition have made huge progress over the last few years from the, the mental health side of things and, um, you know, having the resources available for, for guys to make sure um, everyone's okay. So it's certainly something we'll look at. Um, I can only speak from our point of view as a footy club, but you know we've got um, plenty of protocols in place and, and plenty of people on hand to, to help out um, if guys need it, which is which is great. I don't want to speak on behalf of anyone, but I'm sure there's a lot of people across the competition who are you know doing it tough in, in this time. And um, you know from my point of view, you know I'm fortunate to sit here with a job. At the end of the day, there's so many people who. Um, because of what's happened, don't have a job. So we need to be grateful that we're, we're still here at the footy club and working and, and we have income. And um, yeah, look, I'm sure the guys that are doing it are tough um, are getting enough help behind the scenes. Um, and, you know, if we're, if we're all in this together, we'll come out the other side and hopefully everyone will be okay. Oh, look, we're aware it, it might get to that, but, you know, we're hopeful that the AFL um, and all parties involved can, can work together to make sure it is... Only a four-week hub. Um, obviously, this, at this stage, the the fixture out is is a four-week, a four-game fixture. So, um, yeah, we'll be working off that. Um, we don't want to look too far ahead. There's so much, so much stuff from our point of view that we need to worry about um, before we even get up there. Um, we're not even, from a playing point of view, we're not even thinking about what happens at the end of the four weeks. So, um, look, fingers crossed it doesn't come to that. Um, yeah, we'll see what happens. You know, obviously we're, we're aware we need to give back to the game here in, in some regard and that's going away. But, um, you know, there comes a point where we, we do worry about the the mental well-being, uh, the mental health and well-being side of things. And um, But, you know, as I touched on before, everyone's doing what they can to make sure everyone across the competition is in the best space possible. And, um, you know, things are looking pretty bright so far. Yeah, it was great. I think, um, you know, the eight weeks off... Um, the real reality check of, of how lucky we are to, to do what we love. So um, for the boys to get back yesterday and, and crack in, it was like, uh, I said this last week when we came back in groups of eight, but it was like the first day of school again yesterday. So um, yeah, it was good fun. Everyone pulled up well, which is, which is a positive and uh, we'll have another good crack on Friday, I think. So looking forward to that. Yeah, well, I think we'll be, you know, pushing the boundaries on on how hard we train and, and um, you know, the, the kilometres and minutes we're getting into our legs. We've only got to two and a half, three week period before we play again. So we, uh, you know, we've got to push the line a little bit and try and get as much into us, um, hopefully without losing anyone along the way. But um, it's a tough caper, but so far so good. And um, yeah, excited for Friday for another ramp up. Yeah, we got a little bit of uh, match simulation in, which was good fun. So um, as, I, as I touched on, we'll ramp up again on Friday and keep building on that side of things. But um, yeah, it was nice to hit bodies again and uh, a few of the boys pulled up a little bit sore, nothing too serious, but, um, you know, the good soreness and, um, yeah, looking forward to seeing what the next week and a half holds and then get up the Goldie and we're into it. Well, I think we've got three or four um, proper contact sessions left where we can crack in and, you know, get match hardened and, and a bit of match fitness. So, um, and then I think when we get up the Gold Coast, we'll, uh, we'll get there a few days early and, and focus on, um, the Gold Coast Suns as our opposition and, and hone in on that. But yeah, I think we've only got four sessions left of uh, you know getting getting ready to play again. So as I said, we'll have to ramp up pretty quick and um, you know push the boundaries on on how hard we can go. But um, leave that into the the hands of the professionals. Oh, I think maturity is always important in 
in this game, you know, certain challenges pop up every year, but um, this is obviously a, a very unique one, one that none of us have seen before. So, um, yeah, I don't think there's any uh, wrong or right way to handle it as a footy club. Everyone's got their own way of doing it. And, um, you know, we're confident with, with what we've done and we feel as though we've given ourselves a really good chance to prepare well and pe perform in a couple of weeks. Um, but I'm sure there's 17 other clubs th thinking that as well. So, um, yeah, we've got some great leaders here who, who are running the footy club um, and some great guys, you know, in, in the playing group that have been through a lot in their playing careers. So, um, yeah, I think once we get up the Gold Coast and, and get into it, um, there'll be a, a sense of normality. Yeah, I'm sure every club's different that are travelling again. But, um, you know, for us, hopefully it's, uh, you know, it's up to the players. If they want to come up, they can. Um, and if they feel it's best for them to stay home, then they can do that. Um, hopefully we can find a way around um, trying to get their training in to, to stay match ready in case we do need them to play. So, um, yeah, I'm sure the club are working through that behind closed doors. And, um, yeah, we'll probably find out over the next week or so what's, what's going to happen in that regard. Yeah, yeah well, well, personally, I can't surf to save myself. So, um, But I know a lot of guys love their surfing. So I think that it's important, um, you know, from from a certain point of view, I think, you know, these guys who have these hobbies outside of football and um, are going to need an escape, hopefully we can find a way to get that sort of stuff up. Um, can't play golf either, Ryan, so um, probably not an advocate to get golf up, but again, there's plenty of guys who love their golf, so um, yeah, I, you know, some funny sort of protocols in place, but um, all we can do is abide by them and, and play our part and get on with the job, and I'm sure the the people behind the scenes who are taking care of that stuff and, and pushing for that stuff for us, um, will do what they can. Well, I think everyone's pretty aware of how good the Goldie is. Um, you know, there could be worse spots to be put in the hub. So, um, no, I'm looking forward to it. Um, look, I'm not, I'm not exactly all over what, um, what governments and um, different councils and all those sort of things have in place. But, um, you know, we're aware of what we can and can't do um as afl players once we go into a hub and and now actually while we're while we're living our day-to-day -day lives um there's still protocols we're living by so you know i don't think any game will feel like a home game up there um purely because we're not in perth but um you know we, we certainly appreciate the fact that while we're there we, we don't have to travel but um as i touched on before and you know if any team's equipped to just find a way to get the job done it's probably richmond so um yeah, there'll be there'll be no home ground advantage. People will talk about that, none of that stuff. But um, yeah, at the end of the day, the the better team will win, and the team who performs better, and as I said, just gets on with the job of, of what's going on around us. Um, yeah, will give themselves a, a better chance at winning. So, um, but yeah, looking forward to that game. Looking forward to testing ourselves against the best. You know, I, I haven't had to do anything extra as captain. I don't think. I, I mean, we've yeah, you know, we've got a group here and. Um, particularly our older guys who, you know, over the break, um, you know, reach out and touch base with, with all, um, all the different guys on the playing list and um, with all the Zoom meetings going on, there's still plenty of contact between us as a playing group. So, um, you know, all that was taken care of. I think, um, you know, the biggest role as captain is, is how you handle in season when you're playing and, and that sort of stuff. So, um, you know, I'm well aware that the biggest challenge for me is, is it all ahead of me? Um, and you know, the, uh, the stuff that's happened the last eight weeks, um, yeah, the people who have had to take care of that, I think are the, the people running the club, the AFL, um, you know, I don't think, I don't think I've had to do anything, uh, too major as captain just yet. Yeah. I find it a little bit ridiculous. I, there's no doubt it's different. Um, but you know, different doesn't always mean it's, it's worse off. So, um, I just think you have to look at the impact you'll have by winning one. Um, you know, the, the amount of fans and members who you'll, you'll make happy after a, a tough year for them, um, people at the club, the pay cuts, people who've lost jobs. Um, you know, in terms of how many people it'll actually touch, it's arguably, it's arguably bigger. So, um, yeah, I think you speak to any player, any coach across the competition, anyone involved in an AFL club will tell you that a, you know, a premiership this year will mean just as much as any other season. Oh, I think there's pros and cons for, for every situation. Um, you know, the length of game, I think there's an element to that that can maybe prolong, um, you know, everyone's career, but, 
you know, if we want to see more of Buddy Franklin and Joel Selwood and Scotty Pendlebury, maybe shorter games to get an extra couple of years out of these guys. And um, so, you know, there, there's pros and cons for every situation. Um, you'll always get the traditionalists that don't want to change a thing, but the reality is the game's changing. So um, maybe we need to adapt with it in some regard, but, um, you know, I always think we're better off leaving the game alone for a little bit and, and see what happens and we can make changes from there. Thank you.